What's going on, YouTube? What's going on? Welcome back to another video with your boy Abe Shaw. As you guys know, today is Sunday. Um, so what that means is every Sunday, I told you from here on out, I'm going to be giving you guys free NEC setups. And as long as you voted on an Instagram poll, uh, that's going to be a period I go off of. So obviously, if you haven't guessed it by now, the period that everybody voted on, that Daner went undefeated. I think I think one person just voted for Germany 30, just not, but it's too late now. But um, Daner went undefeated, was US 30. Uh, last week, I believe, I should start doing recaps. Maybe on Friday, I'll do recaps on basically like the breakdowns I gave you on Sundays. I know Sunday, I know the, the, the setups I gave you last week, I'm pretty sure, excuse me, uh, one of those trades smacked for 4,500 pips. And I believe one more smacked for 2,500 pips. So in total, that's about what, six, 7,000 roughly around that area. And pips caught for US 30. And then here we are now, getting ready to uh, give you guys Basically, like, two main setups for US 30. I noticed, I think I'm going to start doing it, like, at first I was giving you all the full breakdown how I gave my actual academy, but I'm not going to do that. Y'all can't get too much, too much, too much. I was giving y'all too much um, setups because I'd be wild and, like, because, like, when I get in the zone when it comes to US 30, I'll just be, I'll be going. But the setups I will give y'all are going to be, like, major moves, major setups that's going to help you catch the most highest quality of setups. And if you actually want, uh, like the trades I'm sending out on the daily, make sure you get access to the USA Citadel chat. Um, just head to my website and just enroll into the Citadel chat. It's 175 a month. Um, probably, honestly, y'all already know how the US30 chats get. Within y'all first week, it should, it should be no reason why you don't make your investment back plus like more, right? Um, obviously, you can't really guarantee it for legal reasons, but just go back, look at my results, look at the one performing. Look at the way that we're catching these trades, the setups with the analysis that I'm about to give you out today. And you'll kind of understand like what I mean when I was saying that. Right. So where do I even want to start? Let's start with where the market is currently at right now. I'm gonna give you all a setup. I'm gonna give you all the setups for where the market is currently at right now. And then I'm gonna give you guys like the main setups I'm probably gonna be looking for for this week. So we're going based off of where the market is at right now. I got a zone here in this area, because I understand this was the resistance level um, in last week's part of the market. So like we reverse it, you can see like, oh, we will be expecting sales once the market come back to this area, right? So this represents the highest point in the market that I want to see the market come to. Um, like a, like a, It's like a, a gut checkpoint to make sure that, all right, if you break this level, break above this level, then we know for sure that we can look for buy opportunities back to that price level that we was at earlier this week. If it resets this price level at 34283, and it fails to break this level, then we know for sure that we can look for sales at the bottom of the zone once the market actually decides to break out. Because as you can see, to the left of the chart, it hasn't been this high since May of 2023, right? Well, May of this year, I don't even know why I said it like that. And the last time I was here in May, as we see, the market literally took off for 13,000 pips. So here we are in this same area where we saw uh, last week, the market actually hit this price, dropped down for 4,000 pips, Right, and then it came back and gave us that four retest uh, for the buys back to the zone that we are currently seeing in the market today. So here we are currently in the market where, like I said, the main two for referral moves I'm looking for will either be a buy up here in this area or a sell down below in this area. So this is gonna be the main two major moves I'm gonna give you all. Um, I probably will, if it does break this level, I probably will be looking for like a retest down here and in the single chats, that's why I'll be sending out those reversal trades for those buy opportunities. Um, but for, for right now, let me just give you all the setups that we can look for for tonight, specifically off of US 30. So for starters, um, let's go for, let's focus on the buys first, right? So we get these retests. Let's say market potentially consolidates for the night, chill, marinate, do what I want to do, right? Stay in this zone, bounces off of this area. If the market decides that it wants to push back above the zone at 34283, I will be looking to take a buy on US 30 around 34320. 34320 will represent my buy entry, and I'm going to go ahead and make that line blue. Now, the stop loss on this, usually uh, my trades for US 30, I risk anywhere between 350 to 500 pips at most. So, but for the sake of this video, let's go. Let's go. And I'm going to give you all some sauce too. Because why not? Shout out to y'all for watching this video. The more y'all like, if you haven't liked this video by now, make sure you like the video for me. Helps with the engagement. And the more people I'm seeing watching, the more subscribers I get, the more it motivates me 
to continue to give you all these free gems on the YouTube channel. If not, I'll just keep it all for extended shots and just for um, my caddy members and it'll just be exclusive for them. So help me out with the engagements if you can. Um, well, I know you can't because you're watching this video right now. Help me out with the engagements, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Right, so now that that's out the way, once we get this break out of this zone, it's two things that you could do. So let me have you, let me actually give y'all the TPs. I'll probably look for a potential for retest back to the top of the zone. But to make it more solidified, I'm just gonna give you a 1500 pips will be the last TP that we'll look. So TP one is gonna be 360 pips. TP two is gonna be 660. TP three is gonna be 960. Right, I mean, it's not 59, 960, 1200 for TP4, 1500 for TP5, and then you know what? Why not? I'll give you all our last TP for 2000 pips. So that'll be TP1 through 6 for the trades 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But TP1 through 6 is the move that we're going to be looking for, and then the stop loss just so happens to be uh, right back at that zone that the market needs to break out of first. So there's two things, two ways you can take this setup. Right, so the main way that I would prefer that you take is you want to wait for the market to push up, hit the price, let it retest the zone that it just broke out of. Once you get that retest to the zone, whether that be on a 15 minute time frame, an hour time frame, whatever time frame that you want to use, once you see that the market is retesting back to the price of 34286, <clears throat> excuse me, the next time price pushes up, that's when you want to get ready to take that trade for the buy at 34320. And then that's when you should see TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, TP5, TP6, smash, right? So that's going to be the main buy setup I'm going to be looking for for this evening. Um, but there's also another option, right? So even though this is the main option, this isn't the only option that we might see in the market. Depending on the momentum of the charts, we might see that the market might decide that, hey, I want to actually take off for these buys. So I'm going to go ahead and break out of this zone. And I'm going to go ahead and smash TP1, TP2, maybe even TP3. And then you might find yourself in a pullback entry happening in the market where you see the market comes back to either retest its price or retest its zone. If it comes back to retest its zone, we love that, right? Because it's give us another opportunity to hop in for this buy position. So once we get that TP1, TP2, TP3 smash, cool, whatever, however far it takes all to, cool. That's 660, that's 900, that's 660 to 960 pips that you just caught. And then the market decided that it wanted to retest the zone that it just broke out of. And it gives you another opportunity to take that same trade again. And this time you can hold it for TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, TP5 as it goes back to retest the top of this zone. If you want, I'm going to go ahead and put an orange line right here. This orange line will represent the retest line that I'll be looking for on the chart. So this will be an area, as you can see, last time I came to this price, it dropped. Next time I came to this price, it rejected this area, closed back under. Came to this price, and then I started to sell. So this price at 34475 is going to represent a major retest area that the market is going to have, have might have problems dealing with on its way to like actually break out of this level to potentially go to that last TP. So you know what? Instead of going for 2,000, let's just go ahead and be safe and let's just make it a TP135 move and just going for the cool 1,500 pips, right? So this is going to be the main buy setup that I'm going to be looking for. Now, when it comes down to looking for the sell setup I'm going to be looking for, we want to see the market come down to three, four, I want to go three, four, one ninety. Now, preferably the entry on this, I'll prefer um, that the market don't just drop right now and just keep going. I would prefer something like a retest back to the zone just to confirm that it's like closing below this price. And then from there, I would, then I would look to take those sell entries on US 30 at the price of three, four, one ninety off of that breakout. Technically, yes, you could enter off of a sell entry right here. Um, Depending on if you have your own specific US 30 strategy, you can look to enter a sell right here. But if you don't have a specific strategy that you use, you don't know how to take sniper entries just as much, I would suggest that you wait for uh, the breakout move at 34190. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and put stop loss at 350 pips. Boom. And then we're going to take this back down to the bottom of the zone. This is the move I'll give you on 2,500 pips swing on. Um, because if it does break that level, that is like the ideal area that I'll be looking to hold these sell positions on. So 2,500, 2,000, 1,500, 1,200. Oh, let's see, 960. And 
And for the people that's new here, so these different TPs I'm giving you, uh, this represents the different areas that you can decide that you want to take profit on. So <clears throat> I have people that like to prefer to take profit at TP1, some people like TP2, some people like TP3, some people like TP4, whatever your take profit goal is, or however much money you're trying to make up for this move, uh, that is totally up to you to decide which take profit that you want to use for your preference. Now understand, the longer you hold the trade, the liable you are to either um, get caught in a pullback or the liable you are to potentially reach a, like, some type of drawdown on your position. What I would recommend, right, we like to use good risk management over here. Once TP1 and TP2 smash, or even after TP1 smash, however you're feeling, I would suggest you move your stop loss and profit. By moving your stop loss and profit, that helps you secure the profit. So if you're in profit and the market decides, and let's say, for example, you enter right here, right? Your stop loss is in profit right here. This is where your TP is at, at 34183. So what it's what this is telling me in the market is I have a sell entry at the price of 34357. My stop loss is in profit at 34327. So what this means is if my stop loss and profit, that means no matter what, if the market pulls all the way back to close to my entry, or if it hits this price, that means it's going to close me out of that trade automatically without me worrying about it, without me stressing. And I'm going to only make whatever your lot size is, you're going to catch 186 pips in profit, right? So that means no, you will no longer have to worry about, oh, I'm going to lose some money on this trade. You got it, you're going to make some type of money in this trade. Um, you're not going to lose any money because you use proper risk management. You move your stop loss and profit. So no matter what happens, if the market gives you a full retest back to this area or somewhere in this area, you are considered to have a winning trade because you did not lose no money, but instead you made more money than you have started on your initial investment. So let me go ahead and re put everything back before I get confused. Uh, but yes, all right, cool. So this is the sell setup that we want to look for. Uh, TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, TP5, TP6, TP7. Uh, obviously, the closer the TPs, the higher probability that you have of hitting. Down here are more so for like my swing trader type of people that want to look for swing trade opportunities, right? Excuse me. So, like I said, these are the main two sets I'm going to give you guys. If you want more, if you want the potential buy setup, if the market comes down here and you want, you're interested in taking that buy position, make sure you get in the civil chat. That's how you'll get access to that trade alert idea. Or if the market comes up to this area, that's when you get access to the other sales setup that I'm going to get ready to give out into my main chat right now after I get done recording this video. And then if not, that's totally fine, right? Just wait till next Sunday, wait for the free setup again. You got, you're got you either going to catch 2,500 pips here or you're going to catch 1,500 pips here. Regardless, you, you should, there's no reason why you should not make some type of money this week off of the charts, just off of my analysis alone. I hope this helps somebody. Um... Smash those funny in the Congo, hit take profit, help you pay some type of bill. Um, hopefully, I'm doing my due diligence to my people. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel. Shout out to you. Right? But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Peace out, you guys. Feel free to leave a comment, communicate with each other in the YouTube on the YouTube page. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to uh, answer it if I can. Peace out.